हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू पावर प्लांट गुरु यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स टुडेज वी हैव ब्रॉट अ वीडियो फॉर गैस टर्बाइन प्रोडक्शन सो वी विल डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो दैट व्हाट आर द मेन ट्रिप कंडीशन एंड वी विल टेक वन इम्पॉर्टेंट कंडीशन विच वी विल एक्सप्लेन इन दिस वीडियो एंड नेक्स्ट सीरीज ऑफ ट्रिप्स वी विल कवर इन द सब्सिक्वेंट वीडियो this is to keep just video uh, small so that uh, you can grasp it better and ask your question if you have any doubt welcome friends to power plant guru youtube channel friends i am a mechanical engineer with around 20 years of experience in the field of power plant and i used to create small fundamental knowledge series videos for power plant engineers we also run doubt clearing sessions on weekends so if you want to reach us you can reach us through comment section and join our weekend classes let us continue to watch our today's video so friends uh, uh, this we uh, will take uh, in this video we'll discuss about only pre ignition trip which is the first one mentioned here pre ignition trip so there are other trips also like pre ignition post ignition protective system igv and customer trips and all any one of this is true so there is a or condition like if this comes or this comes or this that means any one of them is coming then this will pass and then it will act activate this master productive trip which will turn from 0 to 1 and this will cause gt so this will be like that true means 1 means gt tripping so this is the condition like pre ignition trip we will take in this video so if we consider pre ignition trip pre ignition trip is coming uh, or we can say constituted of uh, different uh, components like uh, this is l3 acs 27 qel l4 pretx and f5g so this uh, acs is related to uh, uh, gcv and srv position related position I and mean feedback and actual uh, we will go in detail and 27 qel is related to dc lop and uh, this is actually lot of things in uh, pretx we will uh, discuss at least 5 to 6 components are there 5 to 6 components and we then we have l4 fig that is failure to ignite so these are different condition and these condition will only impact if we have l28 fdx that means flame is not detected then only all this will matter because we are talking about pre ignition trip means there is no ignition at all you are starting the machine but before ignition happens if any one of these are true it will uh, take as a and like any one of this and if it will check that flame is not there then this pre ignition trip will pass and then pre ignition trip will go to l4 t and it will trip the machine so let's say there is a position mismatch error in this and flame is not detected so this kind of circuit is through and this will trip the machine so if we see uh, l3 which we saw uh, in the previous slide l3 acs so l3 acs is what 
there are two gas control valves in uh, turbine fuel gas system which we all know like uh, there will be fuel gas coming uh, from some sources and there will be one control valve and there is another control valve so this is your SRV and this is your sorry this is your GCV and then it goes to GT combustion system so if any one of uh, these two valves are having any error let's say uh, the turbine gives a command of 5% and feedback feedback is let's say 2% only then it will see the error is 2% of position so it will generate a message that L3 ACS is true and if L3 ACS is true and that time flame is also not detected so these are in AND so this is also true this is also true then it will pass through pre-ignition trip and the machine will be tripped so this is very simple uh, condition whenever your GCV or SRV are not following the command that means machine will sense that there is some issue with the control of valve which may uh, go in malfunction and that malfunction will lead to uh, hazardous composition uh, quantities of fuel gas in machine so it will trigger a safety precaution and it will trip the machine if you uh, look at your different plant then you may find somewhere this is 2% somewhere it is 1% somewhere it is 3% also the error between command and feedback you know why very uh, I mean it is uh, plant to plant specific uh, practice uh, it is not a standard it should not be done in standard way but what happens there are some error persistent always let's say your uh, there is always when you set, uh, calibrate the JCV SRV when you set the zero then also there is a 1% of error it remains sometimes then what happened the field engineer changes the setting from 1% to 2% or 2% to 3% that is why this uh, number gets changed from side to side otherwise it should be a fixed number that uh, if the uh, error between command and feedback is 2% then this should uh, L3 ACS should be true and accordingly if at that time flame is also not detected then it will qualify for a false ignition trip and it is one of the trip condition from all these uh, five condition then it will go and activate L4T and trip the machine in next video we will discuss this uh, the next one which we saw on the previous slide L, uh, L, L27QEL that we will discuss for the DC pump how it is going to trip your machine so hope you have understood it and uh, like the small video if you want to ask any question please ask in comment section and if you want to ask for any new video to be prepared on a new topic then please uh, mention in comment section Thank you. Thank you for watching.